Today we're going to be talking about the frozen kiss shot and determining whether or not they are on for the pocket. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, you're in the right place because we're going to be talking about a technique today that is very simple, very easy, and it's an extra weapon in your bag that you can pull out at any time. Let's do it. Welcome back everybody. So like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about the frozen kiss shot. But before we get to that, I want to talk about what I mean by on. There's lots of examples of being on in pool. So for example, you've got something like this, it's frozen, you know, is it on? We know that this is on, right? We just draw that line and we can see that it's to the corner and it's on, it's lined up, okay? This whole video, I'm just gonna say on. So, you know, I shoot away because I don't wanna foul and you know, I hit it hard enough, it's gonna go in, right? That's one example of being on. Remember, conquer the cross? Balls are all frozen, so that means that they're on, right? I just have to come into the cross. It's gonna go in. That's on. But we're gonna be talking about frozen balls anywhere on the table today, okay? And this is the frozen kiss shot, remember? But how do we figure if they're on? What do I mean by saying, are they on? Well, there's an easy method and this you know, I don't know, I was playing one of my friends not too long ago and it became apparent to me that, you know, they, they're a deadly pool player, but they were doing it mostly by feel, right? They were, they had no empirical method of actually doing this and we do, we have an empirical method and this is what I'm going to show you right now. And it's simple, okay? You just need to draw two lines and if it's on, it's on. And then from that point, you find a contact point and you hit the shot. So let's go and figure out how a shot is on. There's two lines that you have to draw, an axis and a perpendicular line to the axis. Where is the axis? You could just draw a straight line through the two balls, like so, okay? There's your axis. Now, you have to draw a perpendicular line through those two balls, splitting those two balls perfectly. So for example, if I did that with my cue, I'm coming to, you know, the right side, the right side of the pocket there, but it's pretty close to being lined up, okay? So you can find any two balls on the table, anywhere, and you can determine, are they on? I'll just put them right here like so, okay? So let's take a look if they're on. Here's our axis. We're going to go perpendicular to the axis. So I'm going to take my cue. I'm going to split those two balls like so. Where's my cue going? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Well, my cue, if I extended it all the way, it's going there and my butt is going there. So those two balls aren't on. They're not on. Okay. That's what you have to get through your head, right? Let's start off easy. Okay. We're going to go to this side of the table. Let's make it on. Okay. And it's easy. And this is how you're going to practice this, first of all. And for the purposes of this video, a frozen ball is a frozen ball. These two balls are touching, right? But this, do this technique does work for the most part if they're just slightly, like maybe a paper, a paper could fit through there. No more than a 30 second or an eighth. Then you're, it's just not going to work. So let's just say every shot that we take today, they're going to be frozen, all right? And let's make it on. And it's it's pretty easy, right? Just simple as that. Okay? Those two balls are on. I'm gonna say the six balls on and the one ball's on. So what do I mean by that? Well, depending on where your cue ball is, this six ball is on. If my cue ball was on this side, the one ball is on. They're both on. It just depends where your cue ball is. So let's start over here. Okay. Now, how do I pot this six? 
Well, think of it as a cut, okay? We've got our axis. Now we know that because I'm cutting the six ball that way, I wanna be hitting on the right side of the axis, on that side of the axis, okay? Now the question you're gonna ask yourself is, by how much? How much do I contact it over there? And that's where you need to get to the table and you need to figure it out yourself. The key though is we don't wanna throw anything out at any point. So on all these shots, just hit center ball to start out. Always hit center ball. And then all we're gonna adjust as we go through this is how much we're moving our contact point out. And I'm gonna demonstrate that you've got a really wide distance that you can play with here. And it's actually kind of amazing. This is a deadly weapon. If you didn't have it in your arsenal before, you're gonna have it now. So let's start easy, okay? We're cooking, we're, we're just put the cue ball anywhere. I want the six ball in that corner. I'm gonna be going off the one. It's a frozen kick shot, okay? My axis, I'm gonna be moving my, my tip over. I'm gonna just say a full tip and a half, maybe even two tips. Center ball. Easy. Line it up again. Do this yourself. Go to your table. This is how quick it is. Now line them up. Okay? You're gonna do this so many times, you're not even gonna be seeing this axis anymore. I mean, it's just gonna be natural. It's gonna be subconscious for you. So those are lined up. I'm gonna put my ball here. Let's try the four ball. Moving my contact tip over. I missed that one. So I didn't, I was further out and I didn't move my tip, my contact tip over far enough. Let's try that again. Just keep doing it, okay? You'll notice something here. Okay, I'm lining this up. Okay, this is, you know, not a, a very extreme of an angle. Take a look, right? What I just demonstrated to you is there's a variability that you have to be aware of, okay? And uh, if you don't adjust your contact tip enough, you're gonna miss the shot. So you have to be variable. So that's why you have to practice this, right? So for example, there's not much on this four ball, right? There's not much angle. So I've got my axis. I know I have to hit on the right side. Okay, but how much you're asking? Well, it's not gonna be as much as if my cue ball was down here. Take a look at this. This, this is a back cut. If this three ball wasn't there, I can't, I can't even make this shot as a back cut. The, the best I could hope to do is maybe cut it to that point on the side rail. But because this is so much of a back cut, I'm really jacking my contact point over, okay? So for this shot, I'm gonna hit, my contact point's gonna be way over here. Remember, center ball, no English. Let's do some more examples, right? We started over here in the corner, right? Once you start getting more confident with this new tool, like move it out, you know, experiment. Okay, so now I'm way out. Look at this. Okay, so I just lined those up to this corner, right? Here's my axis. Okay. I know that I have to do, like this is a wild shot. Look at how much of a back cut. I don't even know if this one's possible. I'm going to move my contact point way out. And I'm going to call the three ball back in that corner. Center ball, no English. Yeah, that was a really, really extreme one. But this is where you have to experiment, right? It's actually quite amazing how much versatility you can have with this shot. Okay, once you start becoming a professional at, you know, practicing on the corners, you know, start practicing the sides. Okay, so here we are. 
12 ball. I'm going to shoot on the right side of the axis. Center ball. Okay. Easy. Then start making it harder. Okay. All right. Yep. Those are on. Let's try to like almost a little bit of a back cut. All right. Can we make that four ball go on the side? You know, we're going to move our contact point over. Okay. Do it on the sides. Challenge yourself. Start doing some really long ones. Uh, something like this. Out of nowhere. Line it up. See if they make it on for the corner way down there. Okay. All right. So we're going to call the 13 ball. Okay. And then, and, and then take note of where your contact point is, right? So this is a bit of a cut. So your contact point would have to go out quite a bit. This isn't as much of a cut, right? Let's, let's make it harder ourselves. Okay, so this is a bit of a cut. I'm gonna move my contact point out quite a bit. Center ball, hit it hard enough that I'm gonna get there. Close. This is just you playing. Remember, make sure that it's, do yourself a favor, just make sure that they're, they're frozen. This is a cut. Okay. Breeze. <laughs> and just keep practicing. Just have fun with it. Do some, do some crazy stuff. Like uh, way over here, right? This is a tool that you can use for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. A lot of people they don't know the trick, right? So got your axis again I'm just gonna go over it axis perpendicular splitting the balls where does it end up well it's on to that pocket it's not on here it's onto that pocket okay so we want it to go that way our axis is here so we're hitting on that side of the line like this is not an automatic shot some people think but you've done your due diligence here it's a hard shot. This is a back cut, so I'm really gonna jack out my contact point. Here we go. You know, that's the thing about this this technique is, I mean, it's in your arsenal. Okay, so for example, you break if you ever see. Any balls frozen from this point forward, your life has been changed because it takes no time for you just to go over. Oh, that's close, right? Split them. Oh, that's close, right? So you always got to be cognizant now from this point forward that, you know, if there's a couple frozen balls, the option is always there for you to just quickly measure. Oh, those are on, right? Just in the worst case scenario, I can always do the frozen kiss shot. There's a few more things I want to talk to you guys about um, before you guys head to the table and you start practicing this. And that's situations where, you know, not necessarily that you're on the attack, you can't be on the attack, but you need to protect yourself, right? For example, eight ball. Now that you know what you know, whether or not uh, two frozen balls are on, what if you have an eight ball, you're playing eight ball, and you have something like this, oh, way over here, right? So now you know that that eight ball is on, okay? It takes you no time, take a look, and you see that it's on. And, and, and you may not think, you may not even be concerning yourself with that pocket. I mean, look how far away that eight ball is, right? But how many times have you or seen someone else come into an eight ball, they've done something wild and it goes off something and it scratches and you lose the game automatically, right? So that's something for you to be aware of. So if you're, you know, you're going for a breakout, just be aware that, 
if by chance, like if you wanted to make this eight ball here on our frozen kiss shots, here's our axis. If we're on this side of the axis, there's a chance this eight ball goes, right? So what if you made some kind of crazy breakout, right? I don't know, <laughs> something like this, right? And you made, and you hit on that side. Now, if your cue ball comes into that side, you know, there's a chance that something horrible happens to you. Also, you know, another example is, is nine ball, you know, or coming into a pack. You've got a pack of balls here. And, you know, maybe you've got something lined up like so. And you just very quickly, you can tell that these two frozen balls are on, right? Maybe you take the opportunity to call the one. I'll just set this up quickly, like, you know, maybe the, the table's open, whatever the situation, but you call the one over there. Maybe you can't get to it like so, but maybe you shoot that, this 13 ball and you come into the pack at the, the perfect point where we can do that frozen kiss shot, right? I don't know. You'd have to hit it pretty hard, but you know what I'm saying? If you come in and you hit it on that side, it could go in, right? Something to think about is when you have a pack, be on the look now. From now on, like I said, your game is changed, right? If you see something frozen, take a look to see if it's on. You never know if you could exploit that. Everybody knows Hawkeye from the Avengers, right? He's an archer, he's got that archery bag. Well, he's got an arrow for every single situation. Well, you've just added an arrow to your bag, okay? You are Hawkeye and you are a dangerous individual. And if something on the table is frozen, at least take the time to see if it's on anywhere because you will, from this point forward, have the shot in your bag that you can pull out, okay? So that's everything. Go to the table, try it out. It's really easy to line these shots up and just practice moving that contact point. Remember, don't put any English on anything. Center ball at the start, okay? From that point forward, once you become a master at it, maybe start throwing some English. You know, maybe we can start throwing. That might be another video. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. Um, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. I'm over 2,000 subscribers already, so um, that's awesome. I never thought I'd get there, but uh, thank you very much. Until the next time, and in between time, stay safe.